Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the newest Metal for Life column, and this one is called the Metal Works. I have prepared a fairly long metal riff that I will challenge you. We're going to throw it down, and you're going to have a full month of preparing it till the next column. Cool stuff? Check this out. <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you what I was thinking with this example. Foremost, I wanted to come up with a, with a great guitar playing example that was going to challenge you with different techniques of getting different type of sounds out of your guitar. And the second was a challenge to myself because I wanted to come up with a short musical piece that consisted of different guitar riffs that were different from each other, yet flowed cohesively to make a cool piece of music to listen to and play. So um, here we are at this example today, and I am going to break this down and show you uh, exactly what takes place, all right? So check this out. Here's the beginning of the riff. I'm beginning playing an E power chord with a constant movement on the bottom E string, and I keep moving this top, the fifth of the power chord, each fret up, which creates a tension. Yet, if you hit it correctly with your right hand, it doesn't sound bad or weird. Now, let me play this for you. Right, so nothing sounded necessarily out of key, but you just hit those chords so you get a nice sound and you move on. Right, in some ways it's melodic, even though you only have in chromatic notes that move the melody um, on the fourth string. After this particular section, I move in into more of a thrown down groove area where this takes place between strings four and five. And as you can see, I am hammering on from the second fret on the fifth string into the third fret on the fifth string while playing the E. So you have this sort of like the grind. See that, that it just kind of gives you like a great unexplainable sound when you play it fast. So you want to hear that B to C melody when you play it. So when I play this, when I use my right hand picking hand, I want to make sure that I definitely hit that fifth string, that it's not just my left hand hammering on the melody notes. I want to hear those things. Right, so this is something that Dimebag was amazing at. He was getting these amazing grind sounds by EQing and hitting just the right things he wanted you to hear. So it takes us beyond power chords and harmony. That's what makes guitar playing great. After this particular throwdown grind riff, I pick it up a little bit by playing a series of chromatic notes on sixth string, ending on the B note on the fifth string. It's almost like a, like a Exodus-like thrash riff. I love that. It gives you from that kind of heavy halftime almost feel into like a picking up fast part. So this is a great way, I think, of writing riffs is you always want to have a contrast. 
once the listener figures out what are you gonna, going to play, it becomes boring, right? So that's a great thing to think of as a guitar player. Next section in the riff, one of the last sections, is a very Megadeth-like um, guitar part, is that you have a chromatic notes that move up in a very melodic type sense. I'll play for you slow. <laughs> Right, so you have basically um, a major, uh, a major third chord that move up chromatically, starting off the E power chord. Right here, though, you'll see me hammer on for this type of movement. This happens very fast. Right? We'll follow this with the first riff that we started the section off. And we finish this section pretty much with a fast pull-off type riff that goes like this. So this happens very, very quick, and you have open six string between there. So when I play it, I definitely use my right hand picking to get those harmonics out, which kind of makes this riff sound a little more um, involved than it really is. <laughs> This is very Randy Rhodes type of little section. I keep going back to this. And I have a series of triplet pull-offs. And right after this, I go back to the riff throwdown. Good luck.